Hello everyone, this is Sedi and welcome to Sedi's Smartverse. For today's video, we will discuss a Hong Kong IMO heat round problem, which is our random problem 23. It is entitled Unfree Radicals. What makes these radicals bounded up? Let's find out and without further ado, let's get started. Oh, so here is our random problem 23. Solve for the value of x in x equals 32, square root of quantity 4 square root of quantity 32 square root of 4, and so on. As we can see, the 32 and 4 repeats in an nested radical. Can you solve this problem? If you want to try this problem first, you can pause the video. But if you want to view the full solution, continue watching. In problems like this, especially nested radicals or continued fractions, we can abuse the fact that this chain of radicals is indeed an infinite one. And since it is infinite, the value of this whole expression is the value of this expression as well, and it extends on and on and on. With that in mind, we can substitute x into this second set of 32 square root of 4 and so on. So we can have x equals 32 square root of 4 square root of x. Now, taking the square of both sides gives us x squared equals 32 squared times square root of 4 square root of x squared, which is equal to 32 squared is 1024 times 4 squared of x. Are we done? Not yet. We square both sides once again, so we end up it with x squared squared equals 1024 squared times 4 squared, then times square root of x squared, which is x. And this x squared squared can be transformed into x raised to the fourth power. And now we have an equation in polynomials. Dividing both sides by x gives us x cubed equals 1024 squared times 4 squared. And now, we can proceed with the last step. x cubed equals 1024 squared times 4 squared. We can express this in terms of powers of 2. So we have x cubed equals 2 raised to the 10th power raised to 2 times 2 squared raised to 2. Using product of a power rule of loss of exponents, we have x cubed equals 10 times 2, 20, and 2 times 2, 4. So 2 raised to 20 times 2 raised to the 4th, which is 2 raised to 24. And now, since x cubed equals 2 raised to 24, we can just cube root both sides, giving us x equals 2 raised to 8, which is 200 
56. And this is the value of x. So that is it for today's video, Kamatverse. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sedis Matos. Also, follow my social media accounts because I post content there on a regular basis. That's it, folks. This is Sedi reminding you to chase your greatest moonbeam and mathematics is incomplete without you. Till next time.